Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our Mass this morning. First, an apology, and secondly, a word of explanation. The apology is that there was a misprint in the bulletin sheet, and Mass was scheduled for 12 o'clock today. That's because last Friday we were at 12 o'clock, and I forgot to alter it to our usual time of 9.30. Secondly, a word of explanation. Those watching on Facebook and YouTube may wonder about the angle that the cameras are today. I am experimenting to see what will work for us on Sunday morning when we have to have a place for the blessing of palms and also to have three different readers for the Passion. So I'm seeing how this arrangement this morning will look if we do that on Sunday. First, brothers and sisters, let me tell you that we're celebrating this Mass this morning for the repose of the soul of Anthony Lloyd Simpson. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away Sin. Lord have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost hearts. Christ have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pardon the offences of your people, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side, denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error, then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failures. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize for loins and hearts, let me see the vengeance you will take on them. For I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortune, my safety. My God is the rock where I take refuge my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. The waves of death rose about me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The snares of the grave entangled me. The traps of death confronted me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came to his ears. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. 
The Lord is a rock and a stronghold. From heaven he hears the voice of those who call upon his name. We remember in prayer those who do not know God, or whose God is too small. We remember in prayer those who champion the rights of the poor, the needy, and the oppressed. We remember in prayer those who take refuge not in God, but in alcohol or drugs. We remember in prayer those of our community in need, the sick, the dying, the lonely, the unemployed, and those in any kind of trouble. Father, be with us as we prepare for the Easter festival. Listen to our prayers those spoken out loud and those in the silence of our hearts, and grant all we ask through Christ's darling. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for that. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may I sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant our merciful God that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ's darling. The Lord 
by the side look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Thou, my God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou, my God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou, my God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the dark of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that, dead to sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. And may it always drive far from us all that stood apart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind, through Christ our Lord, and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and down upon you and remain with you always. Let us end here going to peace. Thanks be to God. Hail, Queen of Heaven, the Honourable Mayor, to whom the angels come in pay. Hail, Root of Jesse, Gate of Life, that opens for the world of you yet. Rejoice, O Virgin of the Past, in whom our ransom was begun. For all your loving children pray to Christ our Saviour and your Son.